longer I'm a parent, the more I realize I have no idea what I'm doing. I could cry. We didn't get any peaches off of our tree. We tried to save some in a box and they all went bad. What a bizarre morning. Sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather. Listen, we bought the wrong hood range for our new home and it's gonna cost me a couple grand because it was like $2,000 range hood and it's way too big and not the right kind. It needs to be like an insert. And so now I'm gonna have to try to like sell that one for what I paid for it and then buy like a thousand dollar new one. So hopefully it saves me money in the end because if I can sell it for more than a thousand dollars, then it will be like a wash. But, um, well, I mean, if I could sell it for what I bought it for and then only spend a thousand on it, then I save a thousand dollars, but I doubt it. I'm thinking it'll end up just being like a wash. Like if I sell it for a thousand and buy it for a thousand, but at this point it's like, who cares? I just need to figure it out. And I also noticed on our cabinets, like a normal, cabinet i need to go find a measuring tape this is the stuff that i have to like think about all day i think this is like a 16 inch cabinet and then the hood is kind of like the microwave like it'll stick out further you know like it comes out further and i want all of that to kind of like line up a little bit more so i think i'm gonna have to make my cabinets there's only one on each side that has like spices in it i think i might have to make them a couple inches deeper just to make everything look like it's not kind of like set back like they're more like legs you know it all makes sense. Let me show you a picture of what I'm talking about. For example, see like it has like, it like sits on the countertop and then there's the range and then it's like kind of open and then there's a wood beam. So the range hood has to be up in here, but these I want a little bit, oh, oopsie. Yeah, I want them a little bit deeper so that they look more like they're all on the same level. So I gotta work that out with the cabinet guy today, buy a new range hood, hope it gets here in time, and all these things. And I still gotta get these kids off to school. It's time to go. Let's go guys, in the car. I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go. Okay, let's go. Let's go guys, grab your lunches. And Evie was doing back walkovers by herself last night. And then today when she woke up, she couldn't do it anymore. So she's very worried about this. She'll never be able to do it again. Do you want me to try one more time with you before we go to school? You look very sad. Do you really believe you'll never be able to do it again? Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So you decide which one. Maybe your muscles are a little bit tired and they need a little break, and tomorrow they'll be strong again. Do you want to try again tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, right about Maybe after school we'll try again, okay? Okay, as we were walking out the door, I got a text message from the moms in Evie's class that said, don't forget to wear blue for the teacher's birthday today. And I was like, she's in all pink, like head to toe pink. So that's kind of a good blue, yeah? Yes, that was shorts. Okay, let's change. That's better. Love those Kizik. She threw those on in two seconds. That's normally what takes the longest is getting the shoes off and on when you change, but she just slipped them off, slipped them on. I love these shoes so much. At the school, got them there on time. <clears throat> Still just racking my brain how to make all this work. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them to make it 20 inches deep. So I just have like this much of a lip. And it's only gonna be like on each side. So like envision like the cabinet coming straight down to like here. The longer I'm a parent, the more I realize I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. And also some kids are just a lot easier than others. Personality differences make some kids more difficult to deal with and some kids just, and some things work for some kids and some kids don't, some things don't. So my message to all you parents out there that are watching this, 
keep trying, keep adjusting, and keep praying for guidance, and just do your best. And if you feel like you did your best, that's all we can be, that's all we can ask for. It's the best we can do. Um, kids, if you're watching this, realize your parents are trying because they love you, okay? Like, they're doing the best they know how with what they have, and they love you. Okay. And try a little harder to see their point of view. Okay. Okay, this is the nicest thing. Someone just knocked on my door. It was a neighbor. And they were like, we were thinking of people that didn't have gardens. And we brought you some things from our trees. Look at these pears. They're huge and beautiful. And I already ate one. It was the best pear I've ever had. Apples. Beautiful. And peaches. I could cry. We didn't get any peaches off of our tree. We tried to save some in a box and they all went bad. In fact, they're still out there bad. I need to go take care of those. You want one of these pears? Have you ever tried one of these? Frankie, you're gonna like this. This is called a pear. Say pear. No. 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 Are you sure you don't want to eat a pear? Yeah. Take one big bite and see if you love it. No. Fine, I will. It's mine. I like an apple. No, this is like an apple. Taste it. No. It's better than an apple. It's softer, like a peach. Do you like it? Uh-huh. That's more? No? I have never successfully gotten good apples off my trees. They always have like worms in them and they're always really small. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm not fertilizing right or whatever. But this is so good. We have a big problem. Frankie lost his dinosaur train. Oh wait, he found it. How'd you find that? Been that I did. Been, been cause I did. Been cause I did. Our van that we bought has a check engine light on again. Third time in three months. The first time it was like a coil that had gone bad. It's under warranty, so it's not too concerning, but now I'm actually starting to get very concerned because I'm like, the warranty's getting, going to expire soon. And if we keep averaging, having to bring it in once a month, that's gonna get expensive. Right now we don't have to pay because it's under warranty, but. And it's only two years old and it's like and then, this is the third time the check engine lights come on. And then last time it was a spark plug and then this time, I don't know what it's gonna be this time. <laughs> but I'm like, can we not have this happen anymore? I told the guy on the phone, I'm like, I'm getting very concerned. Like this is just seems to be happening. Every 30 days the check engine lights coming on. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. We're gonna get it taken care of for you. Anyway. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go take that in. And then, also, there's a lady that, um, it's not a lady, it's like a business, I guess. Oh, I'm getting tired. Okay, so, if you guys remember, how many years ago, like four years ago, we went to Thailand. Yeah, I think it was four years ago. And we went with a bunch of friends and it was super fun. And while we were there, Davey had Actually, all the boys had custom suits made in Thailand and they were super affordable. I think it was like 300 bucks for like a full custom suit, maybe. I remember it being like 250, but then Davey told me it was more like four. So three something, maybe it was like 350. But which is amazing for a fully custom suit. It's like unheard of here. Here, I think, like I know Jack Suits does custom suits and he's amazing, but I mean, he's, he like makes some of them and then like has some people that do them for him. It ends up being closer to like a thousand dollars. So it almost feels like, and it's just like, that's a good deal too for a custom suit that you can get here. So, but then unbelievable deal if you fly to Thailand, but it doesn't make sense if you fly to Thailand because then you spend a thousand dollars on a ticket, unless you were gonna go there anyway. It's like not really a good idea. So, but the, here's the thing. The lady that did the suits, she had our contact information and she said, I'm coming to the US and I would like to know if you guys want any suits because I can make a trip over to Utah if you have friends or anyone that wants to be measured and then it's like a five or six week turnaround and we can get them suits. So we put the word out to all of our friends and vouched for her because she's awesome. 
and she's measuring people today and tomorrow for yeah, custom okay. suiting. And then Davey surprised me with tickets to go see Keith Urban tonight. I'm so excited. I love Keith Urban. We've been to his concert once before, I think 10 years ago, maybe longer. Maybe it's been like 15 years. I have no idea, but it was really good time. And so I'm excited. So I'm gonna count this as like our anniversary date. <laughs> But I'm also in charge of our anniversary this year and I'm struggling on what to do because last year we did a really cool thing and Davey claimed it as his because it was running. And so I was like, dang, that was super cool. But we can't always do amazing things, right? We can't go on trips every single time. <laughs> we did like a three day stage race and it was really cool. But this year, I think we're just gonna go out to sushi. We haven't been out to sushi forever. And that's what I really wanna do. So I think we're just gonna have a date out and some nice dinner and then they will count this concert as also celebrations of our anniversary. What a bizarre morning. I've never heard of anything like this ever happening and something weird just happened and I still have no idea how it happened and I'm gonna tell you what happened. The right guy now. in the red truck's gotta be behind it. I thought about gotta that. Be. But and now, now I'm like, how much did we pay for said sink that they were delivering that we told them to return? And are we going to still be charged for it? Like, I'm so confused. So what happened is we thought we were getting a delivery for the tub that was stolen today. Um, we got a call yesterday said, you're getting a delivery. Like our, we bought a new tub, address. right? And today they said, okay, we're 10 minutes away. I was like, April hey, we'll make sure there's somebody there to receive it. It's the tub. That's the only thing we're expecting right now. The only thing I could have thought of was the tub. and. So we just like told our contractor, builder, whatever, we were like, the tub is being delivered right now. So he goes over there and he's like, he sees the box and he's like, there's no way that's the tub. So he opens the box and he's like, there's just a sink in here, like a silver sink. And he sends me a picture of it. I'll show you. It's so weird. Cause I was like, oh, maybe Davey ordered a sink. It had our address, it had Davey's name on it. And this is the sink. You see it? Just like a square, so like a gray sink. So weird. I have no idea what is going on. We told them to take it back. I'm like, well, that's not ours. We never ordered that. I have no idea. I'm like, are they, I'm wondering if they got the labels mixed up and someone got a tub and they were expecting a sink. Good deal for them. I'm pretty sure a tub costs way more than a sink. But I'm like, what in the world? Why are we having such a hard time getting a tub? And update. We, our builder thought we were going to be able to use our nice range hood that we bought but april says it will stick out too much it's so 25 got, inches deep we have to i already explained it. all that yeah. so Bummer. i bought a new one and i'm trying i put that ad back up on the ksl trying to sell the old one um i don't know it's gonna be a tough sell because like how do i find someone that has that exact same thing in mind that's renovating their house or building a house that wants it like it's gonna be interesting. I might throw it up on Instagram and let everybody know what happened. Jeez, this is crazy stuff, but. It was uh, not available this morning. I was in, inside the <laughs> temple and I couldn't answer my phone. Okay, Davey, what are you gonna so pick? So we're here, Look let me just tell, I'll tell you guys. So back in, what year was it? Oh, four years ago? 18 or something, a while we ago. went to Thailand and we got custom suits. Yes. They said we're coming to America. Right, you like that Gosh, color? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at this. I like this one. What liner? Yeah. And Davey yeah, says, I don't know, something so bright. Exciting. <laughs> oh, skulls. So this. Much. And Frank's wearing underwear today, so it's a good thing you told me to go party while we were out here. You could have peed on their carpet. What's going on here? Listen, he drank a big hot uh -oh. chocolate. Which one oh. are we on? Uh, he, oh. mm. he drank a big hot chocolate <laughs> and he went potty and he was like, told me he went potty and then like five minutes later, he's like, let's go potty again. And we kind of didn't take it very seriously. No, no, one more, one more, one more. We didn't take it very seriously because like, he had just, just went gone. five minutes ago. 
Oh, we took him. But I was like, okay, let's go. I took him in there, and he, but he got distracted with playing with, he went in by himself, and he's like, hold on, I gotta lock it, mommy. And I was like, kind of letting him. I should have known that was more urgent. And then all of a sudden, he looks at me, and he goes, the pee is coming out. We got all cowboyed up for my boy, Keith Urban. <laughs> these are cute. Bridget gave me these for my birthday a couple years ago. Dying over Cowboy's Day. Come on, I need more Cowboy's Day. Look at this. This is a good thing. Look at this. Like no father, problem. like son. I left in my belt buckle. I'm going to a country concert with my boy. My boy. <laughs> I know. Okay, guys, we made it home from our date night. We went and saw Keith Urban. And all I'm going to say about the concert is it's not the same concert it was last time I saw him. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. We had fun with our friends. Um, thanks for watching. Find good in everything. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Find good in everything.